15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And we have a liftoff. The 
G forces in the range of approximately three point three point five G. The flight dynamics officer reports excellent steering on this vehicle. We remain in the primary guidance phase all the way. That's the elapsed time clock from the Gemini Control Center. We're getting a little bit of distortion on some of Griffin's reports, uh, but they're all very affirmative sorts of reports. I think it's in the communication system itself. We're five minutes and 20 seconds in, and we're rapidly approaching the sustainer engine cutoff point. This is the last major power phase for the kick. We're in 10 seconds from Pico for a sustainer engine cut second stage cutoff. Starting five for confirmation of Pico. Speed is over 15,000. The sustainer engine leads. The director is back. They've asked Gordon Cooper to tell Gus Griffin that he is go. And Molly Brown is very happy about that go. Speed now, 17,400 miles an hour. It's up to the spacecraft to adjust its speed for proper orbital insertion, which will happen over Bermuda. <laughs> 